<clears throat> FS technical trading in 2016, Australian dollar, US dollar, uh, part one. FS technical trading in 2016, Australian US dollar, uh, part one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW at 24 Traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. The title of this video is FS Technical Trading in 2016, Australian US Dollar. Part one. All right. The Australian US dollar currency pair has the same structure like the New Zealand dollar US dollar currency pair. So the New Zealand dollar uh, US dollar currency pair, if I show you quickly the chart for that. Okay, this is the chart for the New Zealand dollar US dollar currency pair. You can see that the price went up one, two, three. Okay. So are you following my cursor? It went up one, two, three, and then went horizontal. Now it's coming down. This is the New Zealand dollar US dollar currency pair. Now let's let's check out uh, the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair. As I explained to you, you can see it went up one, two, three, and then it went horizontal. Now it's coming down. You can see that uh, both currency pair, okay, have a similar okay market pattern. So the first market pattern is a rising channel when the price was going up. And then we have a consolidation, which means the, the, the market is posing. So, okay, bullish momentum, okay, consolidation. The consolidation after the bullish momentum is telling us that, okay, the price, the trend may continue or may reverse, okay? So usually trader will say if there is a, a bullish progression and a consolidation, the price will definitely go up, not always. There are two scenarios. If the price goes up very fast and then we see a consolidation, it may go up or reverse completely. The trend may continue, a continuation may take place, or a reversal may take place. But generally, trader will say a, con a continuation will take place. Sometimes the market will create a distortion if uh, uh, many market participants place order above the consolidation to buy that will push the price a little bit above the consolidation only to crash it back down. All right, so price went up fast and then we see a consolidation. Now it's going down. What is in store for the Australian US dollar currency pair in 2016? This is about FS technical trading in 2016, Australia US dollar part one. Around the 15th and the 20th of February 2016, I will be recording the second part of this series of video, and somewhere between August and September 2016, I will be recording the third part of this video, okay? Very, very important. So for today, what are we looking for, okay? Because I want the video to be very, I don't want the video to be too long, okay? So you can see this consolidation here is very important for us, okay? Very, very important for us. And as the price D below that, because that was the last market pattern, before the price breaks below it. So if the price breaks below the consolidation, we project it down. So the first projection of our green, first green channel is the second one here. Now, it breaks below it again, we project it again. This is about market geometry, okay? Now I have another line here. What I've done, I divided, okay, the channel into two, and I only projected this, the, the half of that channel down, bringing me here. So remember, I was projecting, this is the first channel between this silver line and this line, okay? As the price did below it, we project it down. That's the first projection, okay? Don't get confused. I want a monthly chart for the Australia US dollar currency pair. So now, for the second time, the price did below the second channel. So what do we do? We project it down. This is a market geometry, okay? Now we don't have enough room to project the whole width of the channel. Therefore, I divided the width of the channel into two, and I only project half of the channel, bringing me to this line here, the black line at the bottom here. Okay, it makes sense? Now, what are we doing? Look at the chart. I draw a pitchfork tool, a powerful tool. In fact, this is the most neglected trading tool. A lot of uh, ordinary traders do not use the pitchfork tool. 
Professional always use the pitchfork tool. Area wave trader always use the pitchfork tool. Market analysts use the pitchfork tool. Because why? The pitchfork tool, okay, forecasts the possible the possible routes or path that the price is likely to take. All we need is three points. This point, the first point here, the second point, and the third point. With that three points, any price start going down, we withdraw our pitchfork tool. What the pitchfork tool will tell us is that the price has a high chance. From this point on, we're telling that already is we know already that the price has a high chance to stay within the boundary of this trade channel. And this is what exactly has happened. It touched the media line, touched the upper side, come down. Okay? It doesn't mean that the price will do exactly that, but 90% of the time, you, you may see exactly that. All you are doing, you are expecting something is, is happening, or you just trade it. Simple. You don't go ahead, you just stay calm. You are expecting it, it's happening. You stay calm, use a top down trading method without ignoring the condominium. That's what we are talking about, okay? So, apart from uh, the market geometry that I've used, which the professional also are using, in order to trade, okay, the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair in 2016, talking about FS technical trading, for this currency pair, we are using both market geometry, okay, and the pitchfork tool, okay? Very, very powerful tool. Okay, this will allow you, okay, to determine uh, the best, uh, okay, uh, the hot spot trading zone, okay, where we can uh, trade, okay, you see here, so here we are, so we are now here. Another thing I need to mention, you can see the horizontal line, these are key levels. So we want traders to look for high probability trading setup on or near. These support and resistance levels. The support, resistance level, and trend lines are powerful trading tools. They are very simple, but traders do not pay attention to it. But the bottom line, we don't want to violate the market pattern. So what is the current market pattern? So the current market pattern is what? A declining channel because the price is in a declining channel, the red channel. So in this scenario, we will look for what? Overbought conditions somewhere along the edge of uh, okay, the red channel. But the price does not go down forever, okay? Doesn't go down forever. So where is the price now? It's at this key level, this one here. So in order to improve quickly or start making profit trading in Australian dollar, US dollar, one must trade around key levels, all right? See how professional we're selling? Near the key level, decision I make, near the key levels, okay? All the time, brace below, retest this one here. And then boom, down, next key level. If you drop it down now, if it breaks below this level, break below, retest, turn around, we will be expecting it to come here. Another thing I need to mention quickly to traders, that there are other hotspot trading zone on this chart. Can you see them? The intersection point between the pitchfork tool and the key horizontal Support so level, these are hot spot trading zone. These are hot spot trading zone. The intersection point between the pitchfork tool and the key here. We have a, a we have a hot spot trade. The price started hot spot trading zone and it's now consolidating on this monthly chart. See, there's a small consolidation taking place here. Though we have a declining channel. So if you have a declining channel, we see a consolidation. In normal condition, we'll expect the price to break below the consolidation because the market sentiment is bearish, is pausing, we'll expect it to go down. But on the other hand, we don't assume anything. If it goes above it and come out of the channel, which will break above the channel and find the support, well, then we can start looking for opportunity to buy, okay? Whether you are a daily chart, monthly chart, yearly chart, two hour chart, do not violate the market pattern draw your, your trend lines, draw your channel, and use the pitchfork tool and the market geometry. Okay? We have here a few key levels. How many? We have uh, five key levels that I need to share with you. So if you have a pen or you can store it, uh, save it on your computer, the first key level for the Australian dollar, US dollar that we must watch is uh, 11024. The price far away from it, but we need to note it down, okay? 11024, that's the first key level. Next, uh, key support and resistance level 
is 9668. The third key level is 8334. All right. And the fourth key level is 7012. So this is uh, the current key level that we are watching now because the price is near this key level, 7012. All right. So at this point in time, all we can say to traders is that if we want to be bullish in this case, the best place is somewhere here. You see, there's a small consolidation here on the monthly chart, so I can give you another level. I don't, I'm not going to talk about it. Just note it down somewhere, 7388. So this is just at the top of this small consolidation. The prime may consolidate and break out or break down again, okay? This what's going on here. So it's at the lower part of the consolidation, but we are in a declining channel, okay? So but the best place to buy, when it comes out of the channel, and goes above this uh, blue line here, somewhere in the zone of 7388, okay? That's the best place to look for opportunity to buy. If you are buying below that level, we need to be very careful. So here we are, there's a support level, there's a key level here, 7012, okay? It's a key level. So if you, if you see a bullish signal here, and we are buying, we need to be careful. If you start going up, Watch out for the top of this consolidation here or the monthly chart somewhere near the 7388. All right, top of the consolidation somewhere here around 7388. Okay, we are in that zone. Okay, that's what we are saying. But if it breaks below the 7012 and the final resistance, we will sell it. That will be clear sell signal, break below, retest. That's a a bearish trading setup. We will now use a top-down trading method to set up the signal and the low-risk entry point to enter the trade, whether we are day trading, position trading, or swing trading. We want to make our decision near a key level. We are looking for trading setup, high probability trading setup, on or near a key level without ignoring the, the market pattern and economy news at Forest Factory. So the current market pattern is a declining channel, but we see a small consolidation that is taking place today. So I'm recording this video today on the 3rd of February, 2016. So, all right, remember that, okay? All right? The last key level is uh, 6327. 6327. So first key level, 11024. Next key level, 9668. Third key level, Third key support or resistance level, 8334, all right? The fourth key level, 7012, and the last key level, 6327. That's all. That's all. Apart from this uh, horizontal support and resistance level, we should not ignore the pitchfork tool, the trend line of the pitchfork tool. So what can we do? We can measure the width of the pitchfork tool. In case the price is out of the pitchfork tool, we project the width of the pitchfork tool in the direction of the price. This is what we call multi-talented trading, the projection of a channel, all right, on any time frame, whether on a two-hour chart, this will allow you to determine, okay, the oversold and overbought zone, the market geometry. If you, if you are using the CCI or the RSI or the stochastic, you want to determine the best overbought and oversold, combine the momentum oscillators with the market geometry. Okay, so if you come out, start going out, we project that channel to the upside. And don't forget also to draw the media line of the projection of the channel. So anytime you project a pitchfork tool, remember that, okay, the intersection point between the pitchfork tool and the key levels, these are horse potential zones. So now I have too many horse potential zones on my chart. So I know where they are, I leave them on my chart. So if I see something happening in, in that zone, I will be interested in it because this is the zone where the professionals are likely to place a trade to buy or to sell. And I want them to sell first, then I'll join them. Okay? So the intersection point between the pitchfork tool or the projected pitchfork tool and any horizontal support level, these are hot spot trading zone. Okay? Professional know that. They know that. All right, they know it. Okay. Reality is another one here. Okay, we are here. This is another horse portal is all okay, right here. Yeah, intersection point between the pit, any part of the pitchfork tool, and uh, okay, 
any horizontal line is a hot spot trade. This is a hot spot trading zone. It makes sense? Okay. I don't want to put too much uh, uh, thing on my chart, so I move them to the side. I explain it to you now. I want you to understand it so you start paying attention to it. Very often, when we reveal, uh, we talk like this, some, sometimes new traders, usually those who are not our subscriber, will go and say, oh, what kind of rubbish is this? But test it, retest it, okay, before uh, you get, okay, you start making your judgment. All right? The trouble that some traders are facing is that very often we see some traders that, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not talking about our subscribers. I've seen it sometimes when a trader, even some experienced trader, will become very, very pumped, all right? Very, very arrogant and uh, thinking that I know it all, all right? Don't get into that mode, okay? Always be humble if you're a trader. Losing trade will happen. Winning trade will take place. Don't go around, okay, criticizing, okay, <laughs> what other traders are doing, okay? Just look at it, all right? If they are violating market pattern, just smile and go away from them, all right? But don't be too arrogant, okay? Don't be too arrogant. All right, enough of my blah, blah, blah. So here it is. But if the price comes below the, okay, breaks below the channel, uh, the pitchfork too, we project it again, equal size right here on this side. We don't forget also the media line. Right. So we are not at this support level. It's, it's, it's going horizontal now, but we have a small consolidation, okay? All right? We can go around projecting channel. You see this small channel here? If it breaks below it, nothing should stop you, okay, to project it down. That small channel, you can project it down. You'll be amazed how the price go from one level to the next level. Just get into this mode. And if you are using market geometry with your technical indicator, you start making better trading decisions. Another thing I need to mention before I close this video, you see the key level that I give to you. Do not forget also the media line of those key levels. Okay? These are also, okay, influential, okay, support and resistance level. Anytime you see a channel, don't ignore the media line because the professional watching. I don't want to draw all this line of a chart, but just be aware of it, okay? Media line or channel are important for professional traders. So, although I will be giving you hundreds of key levels, but I just focus on the main one. I want you to remember, always remember, the media line of the channel. Very, very important. So, what do we need to take away from this video today? On the 3rd of February, 2016, the price is at a key level. 7012. Okay, I'm going to go now to the hourly chart and we'll see whether we can see one of our key level there. Uh, nothing showing on my hourly chart. I'll go to the two hour chart. You see, that's one of the level. This is a key level. It's nice to know, isn't it? Suppose you know that this is a key level. Just projecting the channel, you know that this is a key level. 7012, you know, isn't it? So, you see, on it, so. If you don't go to the monthly chart, yearly chart, you don't know this key level. Look what's happened today. Look, 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 look at the chart. Okay, what's up? What do we have here? We have an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. So this inverted head and shoulder pattern is interesting to me. Why is it interesting to me? Because it's not a, an inverted head and shoulder pattern that is taking place anywhere, anyhow. But it's taking place near a key level. So, like you see now. Here it is, it breaks above it and it tests it here. I'm on a two hour chart. I can use a top down trading method from the two hour chart. I can break it down, two hour chart, 30 minutes, or two hour chart, 50 minutes, five minute time frame, using different time frames. And then I can just take advantage of this move up. Here it is, it pull back again, touching it here. I know that this is a key level. I just know that it's a key level. So anytime it breaks above and it tests, changing direction, I want to be part of it. From the two hour chart, once this first candle is closed, I'm going to my lower time frame. If I'm a TSCW24 trader, I'll go to the first best time frame and just monitor the reaction. What's going on here? I will see it happening and I will be part of it. But <coughs> you understand? So here, I'm not just trading in the void. I know where we are and what's going on here. Professional trading here. So the price D below the key level, go blah, 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 and then display an inverted head and shoulder pattern. This is what we are talking about. Look for chart pattern or high probability trade setup around the key level. But in every case, <laughs> remember, the 
Top down trading method will allow you to navigate through the market. Don't forget that, okay? So you see now, this is a key level that we have, okay? Recognized from the higher time frame. Now here we are on the, okay? On a two hour chart, and we can see it clearly. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so if you are a new trader using a stochastic on a 50 minute chart, this is the best way, okay? Know your key level and make decisions around those key levels. So now I'm on a two hour chart. <coughs> Remember, go to www.dayprotrader.com, check the seven biggest trading mistakes, okay? I explained every the, the seven biggest trading mistakes. Anytime the violation of the market patterns is the first biggest trading mistake. Anytime you change time frame, you are just, you draw your channel. Here it is. All right, so you see here, on your three-hour chart, display a low language of the price, a higher low. Now if you display a higher low followed by a higher high, you see, now you pull back nicely here. If I receive a buy signal here, I will take it. Because what I will do, I will use this uh, 7012 as uh, my protection. I will hide my stop loss, 10 pip, 20 pip behind it. If they take me out, I won't feel so bad because I know that I've done the right thing. Okay, market went against me. All right, come back another day. Anytime you draw a channel, just switch it to it. Draw the media line. Now, if it come below it, project a channel. Just do that. Use stochastic, use RSI with the market geometry. But what I want you to do, always go from the higher time frame to look for the setup on the higher time frame before switching to the lower time frame. Always. Come out, project it. Okay? So if you want to become a professional trader, trading for a big financial institution, if they are testing you, you do things like this, okay, and the experienced trader watch you, they will, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will employ you. They will employ you straight away. They know that you know exactly what you are doing. But if you just go on a 15 minute chart doing your stochastic, uh, all right, <laughs> all right, it doesn't show you, you earn any respect, okay? All right? So let's go back again to the monthly chart. This time I didn't go to the yearly chart, but because of what is happening on the monthly chart here, I'm quite happy with the information that we got. So we are looking at how many key level? Five key level. First key level, 11024. Second key level, 9668. Third key level, 8334. All right. The fourth key level, 7012. That's the, the current key level that we are watching. And the next key level, 6327. We are looking for high probability trading setup. Then we apply top down trading method. All right. Without ignoring, okay, the economy news. This is about technical analysis, technical trading in 2016, trading the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. We wish you the very best in your trading, and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders, talking about the FS technical trading in 2016, Australian US dollar, part one. We will be recording the second part somewhere between the 15th and 20th of February 2016. The third part of this series of video will record it between August and September 2016. You can come back and watch this video many times as you like. Just apply your trading strategy, strategies around the, these, uh, those uh, key levels. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section and in due course, we'll record the video, okay? Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you soon.